Oh, welcome back to Super TV. Remember, joining me for now is for our Super Church is a chat. Damn, what's happening? See, Keegan, this is all your fault. As for joining me for our Super Chat is Keegan Johannes, who is a rugby player. Welcome, Keegan, and thank you for joining us right here on Super TV. How are you on this Sunday afternoon? Uh, thank you for having me. Um, it's a pleasure being here. Uh -huh. um, yeah, my Sunday's been good so far. Not doing much, just getting ready for the week. Mm -hmm. So now with that said that you're getting ready for the week, where were you last night with who and doing what? Oh, um, yeah, I've been at my residence <laughs> for the night uh, with my, my roommate. Uh -huh. Just been playing some games and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what type of games are you guys playing? I mean, it's the two of you guys. What games are you playing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we we into Xbox, PlayStation, whatever, but uh, FIFA, NBA. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's about it. And one of the FIFA games, which one is your favorite? Oh, uh, I'd say the newest one, the latest one that came out. But yeah, I, I, I'm not that good in FIFA, so mm -hmm. that's why I always have my, my backup is the NBA basketball game. So, yeah. <laughs> so you are good with the NBA games. And what's your favorite yes. game since you are good with them? Excuse me? Um, since you are good with playing the NBA game and with FIFA, you're not that good. So which um, what, which of the games in the NBA game is your favorite and which one you've been following this whole time? Because I've been playing. Uh, yeah, definitely. I've definitely been following the NBA. Yeah, well, the playoffs just started. So, um, yeah. Like, the favorites, I think, are the LA Lakers. But uh, the yeah. goat LeBron in there, uh -huh. but um, I'm, I'm rooting for the Boston Celtics because uh, I like Jason Tatum a lot. Mm -hmm. So you earlier you told me that you are getting ready for your Saturday game, and I'm sure the only thing that is going through your mind is that this game that is coming on Saturday, one you need to win and make sure that there's going to be celebration. So what goes through your mind before the game? Well, it's just. Preparation is, is everything for me. So if I had a good week in training, know what my job is, mm -hmm. um, I'm always calm before the game. And just knowing what, what I have to do mm. when I go out there. So I'm just being focused, going through what we did the week and then execute it on the field. Yeah. Now, there's a lot of rumors that every time after the games, rugby players, football players, all of these guys, you guys normally walk naked in your changing rooms. So do you guys maybe get uncomfortable or undressing in front of your teammates? Or is it boys, my boys times? It's just like, ah, it's whatever. <laughs> ah, it's pretty much whatever it's like. <laughs> you, you, win the, you win the team every single day of the year, pretty much. Mm -hmm. So... You guys get comfortable around each other and yeah, it's pretty much it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, I got you with that one. So with that said, do you prefer home or away games? Because sometimes it could be an advantage because you know the playground. So which one do you most prefer? Oh, I say I prefer home game uh, because, well, you got the, the backing of your fans, the home support. Uh, it definitely gives you goosebumps running mm. out there and knowing that most of the people in the in the stands are cheering for you and not the other team. Yeah. Now, do you hear your fans screaming your name when you're on the ground playing or do you just concentrate and then you maybe give them attention when you're done? Do you really like, or do you just, what happens? Uh, it's not It's not about hearing your name or anything, but it's just, you know they are there, you, you can hear them. And yeah, uh, you just do your job till after the game, everything is done. Get the W, and uh, then you can interact with the fans. Mm. Now, which of the games played at home do you enjoy the most? And since we're talking about games that you have played at home, do you maybe sometimes find the people that you know running to the stadium coming to grab you after winning the game? Oh, uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, People coming to watch, they, them letting you know they are there. Um, it's just my honor to be get to see them after the game as well, mm. getting something to, to drink. And yeah, like definitely my, my favorite games to be playing at home are 
are the tough ones mm -hmm. because yeah, it's you just more psyched up if, if you're playing a, a bigger team or a team that's you know it's, it's going to be tough that day, and um, that's when you have to have all the, the support you need, and that's what the, the Bulls family give you. Mm -hmm. Now, I want to ask like a very like random but also not really random. So, normally, rugby players have a lot of fans that are women. And some of them do complain because they tend to throw their bras when you guys win or their underwears or such things that happen on the playground. So has that ever happened in your lifetime career as a rugby player? Um, I'd say fortunately not. Um, yeah, I don't, I, I, it hasn't happened to me. So if it does, I, I wouldn't know. Like, I you wouldn't know what to do. <laughs> Uh, honestly, I wouldn't know. <laughs> like, let's just randomly, like your reaction at first. Should it happen right now while you're busy talking to me? And just let's say, let's say your roommate probably just has a bra that he kept somewhere, and then all of a sudden he just throws it right now as we're talking. What's the reaction that is going to be? At first, uh, I'd be very shocked. Um, well, if it, if it was a fan doing it, uh, I'd pick it up, maybe just to sign it or something and throw it back. <laughs> <laughs> so you definitely pick it up and sign it, but I mean, you need to find for the person who you need to find the person who threw the the bra. That means you're gonna sign it and throw it back. What if they throw it back again, or they have a whole set of lingerie? Then you have to, and you, it's like back to back. <laughs> <laughs> now you have a whole set of lingerie being thrown to you because he signed the first one. But how would you deal with that? Uh, after the first throw, I'm done. Uh, that, that's it. <laughs> Uh, I'll be fine with it. <laughs> now, how did you celebrate Keegan level one of lockdown and what are you mostly excited um, about? Well, um, we were we were on a camp. Um, yeah, our backs were, went on a camp when they announced uh, level one. Mm -hmm. So yeah, all of us were getting pretty excited for, for the game starting, as I said. And um, yeah, I think just socializing with, with friends and family again, mm. um, that's going to be much easier. So uh, those are the things that I think I'm most excited about. Now, what are your goals for yourself and the team for this season? Uh, for myself, it's obviously making my senior debut this, this coming uh, competition or so. Mm -hmm. And then for the team, is obviously to win it. Um, I think there, there's like at the Bulls family, we we've been striving to to be winning trophies again. Mm. So achieving that this year or in this competition would be a, be a dream come true. Mm -hmm. Making a debut and winning a cup. So yeah, uh, so that's about it. Mm -hmm. Now, Keegan, what do you do for fun outside of rugby? Oh, my thing is. Uh, Family, friends are everything for me. So, spending time with them is is always valuable for me. And like I'm from Cape Town, so mm -hmm. going home is is always always great. Seeing my family and friends there, and uh, so spending time with them. Now, should this happen? Not that I'm saying it's going to happen. So, should it happen that you get in trouble? Let's say anything that has to do with breaking the law. Who's the first person? you would call and why um i think the first person is is my dad <laughs> uh, i'd obviously <laughs> I, I i'd get some some words from him but um that I, I know he's he's gonna be the yeah the one that's gonna back me in situations where yeah i know i need his help or so on so yeah so I said you, be, you will call your dad should anything happen. What would it be? What is it that will get you to jail when it comes to breaking law? What what would it be? And I think maybe your dad knows you better than we do because that's why you definitely will call him first. But what would it be? <laughs> uh, I'm not really a troublemaker, but uh, <laughs> I really don't know. Like the thing is, I, I like cars and stuff. So if it if it would be, it would be for, for speeding or stuff yeah. like that. So uh, the thing is, I have cars. So you just stay out of trouble. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, Keegan, who's your number one fan? My number one fan? 
I can't say like I have a number one fan, but I mean, it can be your mom, <laughs> who's probably always yeah, there. But, uh, it can be your girlfriend. I'd, I'd say, I'd say it's my, it's my brother. Yeah, uh, I've got a smaller brother. He's great grade three now yeah mm -hmm. so i'm just trying to be a, a great example for him yeah him also wanting to go into rugby and yeah he looks he looks up to me so yeah. i think i think it's him now as young as your brother as he is because he said he's what he's in grade three right yes, so sir. does he maybe sometimes come home with his friends saying like you know what my brother plays rugby so maybe his friends they come they have their t-shirts they want you to sign them does he do such things boost around i mean i would do that if i had a brother who plays rugby I'll bring you the girls in the yeah, house yeah, yeah. there's a few few kids at home that, that he's, he's he's playing with and yeah. being friends with for a while now so they are there at, at our house most of the time he has some play dates or something like that mm -hmm. and yeah definitely has he has a few breaks now and then but uh, I don't. That I, I would do the same thing. <laughs> yeah, I think I think that's that's a good thing for him, but I, I don't really get into that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, Keegan, what's your take on the change of club teams, or rather, changing of coaches when the team doesn't win? I think a new start is good for anyone if if you haven't been doing that well. Like we recently got coach Jake White yeah. at the Bulls who has really he's starting to make a difference here mm -hmm. and um, giving us young Oaks chances to play in the, in the senior teams. And now I'm, I'm trying to get like a little bit more personal in you. What's your favorite homemade meal? Uh, I'm a very traditional guy, so I think for anyone that's, that's overseas, stuff like that, I'll, I'll definitely say they'll, they'll miss a fry, South African fry. And um, yeah, like me and my dad, mm -hmm. always when I'm when I get home, we have a bri or something like that. So I definitely say bri because that's what I, I miss most mm -hmm. if I'm away from home. Yeah. So when when you guys are brying at home, who actually is the bri man? Is it you or your dad, or they just let you relax because they're like, I this one needs to protect his hands, his legs, <laughs> everything. So you just sit there, and then your dad is the bri man. So who does the things? And it's pretty much like that. They just let me relax. You see, my you're so room. spoiled. Like, no, <laughs> no, no, that's not fair. <laughs> the thing is, I, I, I definitely want to get get in behind the bride, but my dad, he, he likes it his way, so uh -huh. I stay out with him. <laughs> oh, so, thank yeah. you, Dad. I, I mean, yeah, your dad doesn't want any... <laughs> See, that's why when you're in trouble, you actually end up calling your dad because you know it's probably going to baby you. But it's okay. Yeah. It's okay, Gillian. It's fine. Boom, I'm boom. The, the dad, phone, actually, so. I think dad is your number one fan. It's okay. Now, yeah, do you it's... like sneakers, hoodies, or sandals? Uh, definitely sneakers. Sneakers. Yeah, what kind? sneakers, hoodies. Um, well, I, I really love the brand Nike, so... My, my favorite sneaker is the Jordan ones. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, yeah, any any Jordan shoe or Nike. Anything uh, by Nike or Jordan shoe is the go-to. And you're from Cape Town. Yes, yeah, definitely. Uh, exactly. So yeah. that's that's oh, that's the you definitely. I'm sure you have all the Jordans from Jordan one to Retro Sevens to because that's where it happens and that's where they made. <laughs> Cape Town is I'm a city of sneakers, it. straight up. Yeah. So what's your favorite I'm color, Keegan? My favorite color, um, I'd say it's it's blue. Yeah. Blue. And it's not because you because play for blue. Google kind of <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. blue is my favorite color too, but I don't play for any team that has any color blue. But blue is my favorite color. Now, when it comes to yeah, food, and you are based in Cape Town, and I love this, what's your favorite go-to meal when you are with your friends on the streets? Is it Gatsby or Kota? Definitely Gatsby because it has to be Gatsby. I'm, I'm okay, so I know there's 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 different kinds of Gatsby. So you go for thirty rand one. There's like a sixty rand one. Then there's like maybe sixty something. So what's the best Gatsby that you've had, and what was inside it? Ah, uh, definitely uh, a full house Gatsby. Uh, it's like 
<laughs> anything you can find. You anything. Can Russians, Viennas, Polony. There's lettuce. There's yeah, tomatoes. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, you literally, yeah. literally can eat it for like three days. <laughs> That's the thing. <laughs> and then you get itis after that. Yeah, but the thing is, I've got some big, big friends or big boys playing with me. Yeah. So again, it doesn't doesn't last that long for us. So yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So right after eating your Gatsby, which drink do you go for? Tweezer or more fire? Ah, oh, definitely more fire. I think. More fire. Uh, I think a Fanta. I'd go for a Fanta or a Sprite. <laughs> Fanta, uh, yeah. Fanta, Fanta orange. Please tell me it's Fanta orange. Yes, yeah. Fanta, Fanta orange, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. What's your um, other meal that you can go? For? Should you say you want to cheat the whole day? So you have pizza or hot wings? Uh, I'd have a pizza. Um, Excuse me? A pizza. Pizza. And Excuse what's your you? favorite topic? Yeah. In, in... I hate asking uh, these questions. What's I'd... your favorite topic? I'd rather go with um, Evo or something like that. Yes! Uh, Finally, someone who loves Evo on top of the pizza. Pineapples on the uh, pizza. Uh, don't say pineapple. Yeah. Don't say pineapple, uh, I said, pizza. I said, I said I don't understand people having pineapples on the pizza. Oh, wow. Wow, guys. Wow. Like, who does that? Like, whoever puts pineapple on their pizza deserve to stay on level five of lockdown. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, who does even that? Level up. <laughs> so level six. <laughs> oh yeah, let, let me just stay there. Level six even. Uh -uh, guys, pizza and pineapple don't go together. Now here's another question. It's up to you whether you want to tell me the truth. It's up to you if you don't want to tell me the truth or just say, you know what, it's okay. How many girlfriends do you have? <laughs> <laughs> oh, why are you gonna put me on the spot? I'm like not that? putting you on blast. I'm, I'm that's <laughs> That's why uh, I said it's like, I mean, you can tell me the truth, you can just tell me you have one, or you can just say, you know what, you're celibate. No, I'm definitely a guy that, that, that tells the truth, um, but <laughs> I'm single at, I'm oh, single you're at the single. moment, so... Um, Are you single? Is uh, anyone I'd trying to mingle say... with Keegan? No, no? Okay. You single? <laughs> The ladies yeah, are single, watching, yeah. Keegan, trust me. Uh, the ladies are watching. So if they start blasting uh, and blowing up your social media, it's all my fault and it's okay. It's okay. So yeah, what's your... <laughs> I've got a lot of friends that are girls though, so that's, I'm, I'm just going to leave it there. <laughs> okay. Now, what's your favorite TV show? Super TV or Super TV? Super TV. Definitely. <laughs> Super TV. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely Super TV. Well, Keegan, thank you so much. That was such an awesome Super Chase. Thank you so much. We do appreciate your time right here on Super TV. Thank you. Thank you for having thank me. Thank you. I appreciate it a lot. Well, guys, that was our Super Chat uh, chat guest, Keegan Johannes, who is a rugby player playing for Bulls. But that said, we can't wait to see. Actually, his next game is on the Saturday, so we're going to definitely make sure that we watch him. But that said, we're going to quickly go to a break and bring you more fun things to do right here on Super TV. Let's go.